All right, so it's been extremely busy around the shop recently. One, the welding and fabrication classes are absolutely taking off, so a lot of my time is dedicated to that. And two, I'm in my busiest season, right before SEMA, where I have some very strict deadlines to meet and some really insane builds I have to actually finish so that they can be presented in the booths and all the rest of that good stuff. So you might have noticed a lack of videos that have been coming out recently, but I promise we will get back onto that very, very soon. However, there has been a question that I have uh, been receiving a lot recently. Now, you might have seen two bending basics it's a rather popular video, but it's a series of three different videos, and we cover a lot of material. And this answer might be a little bit spaced out in between the two of them, or in between three of them, uh, but at the same time, I can still answer this one because the questions have been coming in at a tremendously high rate <laughs> recently. So here's the deal. Which uh, centerline radius should I buy when I am buying my bender? Or which centerline radius should I buy for this cage, that cage, this competition, this sanction, and that, or to build all this other stuff? Well, here's the deal. There is no magical cookie cutter universal setting for any die. The answer is in the rule book. Now, the rule book is usually going to specify the actual centerline radius and the size tubing that you need to have for your roll cage or your actual project in order to compete in that sanction. Nine times out of ten, most sanctions will follow the minimum centerline radius formula which is diameter of the tube times three equals your minimum centerline radius. Diameter times three equals minimum CLR. Okay, so that basically means is if the sanction says you need to use an inch and a half tubing and they don't specify uh, the centerline radius and the minimum centerline radius, you can safely say uh, I'm going to buy a four and a half inch centerline radius and that will actually get you by. Nine times out of ten that's going to do it if they don't list the actual minimum centerline radius in the rule book. Okay, so in this case, I have my inch and a half die. This is for my JD Squared Model 3. And this is a four and a half inch centerline radius. Now, the other uh, dies that I have for my JD Squared, they all follow the minimum centerline radius rule. And it's, uh, again, it's a safe, uh, safe bet. You can do things uh, as well as build bash bars uh, you know, tube chassis front ends, you know, all the rest of the stuff. There's things that you've seen me do in season one of the fabrication series. All of it was done on the exact same die. Uh, and the reason why is, but it was, it was actually built or it was purchased for uh, doing things like time attack or formula drift or any one of those that, that you normally, uh, they both specify the exact same number. So, I mean, the only one that I think is different is uh, NHRA, which they don't specify at all uh, in most cases. Unless you get into like full tube chassis like SFI stuff, I think they might still, I don't, I don't remember. You might, you, either way, you have to look it up. So, that's one of them. The other one I have. Rogue Fabrication Model 600 Tubing Bender. Now, this has just been recently added to my arsenal, and I absolutely love this bender. It is a beast. Now, you really got to check that one out. Click on that video card, and it'll, it'll, it'll take you right over there. It's a really amazing bender. But this is my inch and three-quarter die. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't follow the minimum centerline radius of inch and three-quarter times three equals 5.25. The reason why I didn't do that, one, Rogue Fab does not offer that. Two, the actual profile for an inch and three quarter die, it's a much larger tube, and it's a very pronounced tube, so having a really tight center line radius on it looks a little, I don't know, what's a good word for it? Looks a little bit too collapsed, so it's actually a good thing that they have a six inch center line radius die for it, and I actually like that a lot better. Even if I bought one for the JD squared, it would be a six inch center line radius. So this will definitely, at being larger than the minimum center line radius required, will allow you to compete and do everything else that you need for uh, all competition, all the rest of that stuff. So, to recap real quick, one, check the rule book. Before you buy your dies, check the rule book. In there, it will tell you the, the size tubing that you need to use for competition, and it will tell you the minimum centerline radius. If it does not tell you the minimum centerline radius, you can safely say diameter times three equals minimum CLR, and you can purchase that die. That die, whichever one it is that you use, will also work for other things like bash bars, tube bumpers, tube chassis, whatever the case is where it also does not specify. It will, nine times out of ten, it will cover you. Now, if all of this doesn't make any sense, or you want more information about tube bending or the benders that I own and all the rest of the stuff, check out the video cards, check the links in the descriptions, go through tube bending basics, check out the Rogue Fab video, all the rest of that good stuff. You'll find a whole lot of information in there. Uh, even the uh, time attack roll cage video. There's a ton of information in there. That's three hours long in two videos there. So make sure you go check all of those out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments box below. You can always send me a message, DM, PM, Instagram, Facebook, uh, email me on the fabricationseries.com website. All of that information is listed in below in the description. And I promise we will get back to some of the normal, full length, uh, very detailed videos that, of course, you know, you guys uh, mostly all know me for. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys a bunch for watching as always. See you on the next episode.